Guys, today is a very special day. In fact, some refer to it as the most important day uh, of the year. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. And I bet a lot of you guys don't even know why that is. What is so special about today, November 12th? What makes it so remarkable? Well, uh, it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modern Survival. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just playing it up, guys. Just want to drop a massive thanks for all the birthday wishes, guys. It really does mean the world to me. And I really do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for making me feel uh, so special on my 30th birthday. Day. That's right. I'm no longer in my 20s. I can no longer say I'm in my 20s. I'm officially in my 30s. Oh gosh, what a what a step, what a leap. I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> Guys, today's going to be a fun one. I got a few awesome things planned. Before we get into it, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs up. I feel like you're you're all obliged to do so as a little birthday present to me, right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you. But you can also subscribe to the channel. That would be a fantastic birthday present. You know, it's actually funny. I remember earlier this year, probably like six months ago, I set the goal of reaching a million subscribers by today. We didn't reach it. I'm honestly not fast, but um, it was always like one of those goals that, I don't know, it was one of those, it's probably not going to happen, but let's throw it out there just in case it can. Uh, guys, today though, today we are going to go and pay a visit to that sleeping beast that is out there on that beach over there. We flew past him yesterday. I'm assuming he's still there. He might be, he might not be, but we're going to go and pay him a visit and uh, see what he's all about. If you missed last episode, uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, but don't worry. I'll catch his up to speed very very soon in fact last episode we also obtained that weird beast up there the scp 610 titan i've been doing a little bit of reading into what his whole story is it's it's, it's i guess it I, I i gotta do some more i was reading through the comments of last video as well a lot of you guys educate me on that one there it's basically what like some weird flesh that just like just it, like attaches itself to anything <laughs> um and also that when you do attack one it can spawn in other fleshy variants and like when they're all together they're at their most power i don't know i'm gonna do more reading into it either way it's an astronomical threat to the world these guys here these scp 610s um but man i'm getting so intrigued by the scp dinosaurs or creatures or monsters or whatever you want to call these things that i, I really want to do like a deep dive into them i really gotta do it i really gotta have a look into these guys but anyways that's not for now uh we also went and hatched this little guy right here this little guy who um needs needs some food needs some wife and milk except maybe he doesn't in fact you guys were dropping naming suggestions for my dude here and then a lot of other you guys in the comments were like yeah yeah that's if it survives because miola didn't feed it yeah that's true i didn't feed it that's cool i don't need to feed it because i need because I'm about to get a nanny to feed it for me. Uh, yeah, we obviously uh, sort of started giving ourselves a haircut yesterday because I need a little bit of hair so we can craft up a nanny. Or I guess in better terms, we can recruit a nanny to our little squad here, a little base. Um, so let's do exactly that. We're going to start out by doing that. That way we can get our little... I just ate spoiled meat. I just poisoned myself. What is wrong with me? Um, but yeah, with this little haircut here, we should be able to get the final little bit of hair that we need. Oh, I need cementing paste too, actually. Hold on a second. Let's get some of that as well. I don't know how much we need. I guess I'll just craft up 100 and we'll, we'll go from there. But um, the nanny will help us take care of our little baby dinosaurs and help them go. Oh my gosh. How much? It's 250? Man, I might even just go raid a beaver dam if that's the case. Uh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. I had no idea that we needed that much to get ourselves a nanny. But, oh, I can't even craft it. Yeah, okay, I guess I gotta go find a beaver dam. Well, we better go and do that right this second. We can't waste too much time. My dude here needs a nanny to raise him. And I guess in the meantime, look, I'll, I'll give you some I'll give you some meat in the meantime. I don't have any meat on me. Hold on a second. Let me get you some meat in the meantime. That way you can not die, preferably. That'd be fantastic if we could prevent that one there. Also, it doesn't look like our hatchling here is growing up. Like, it hasn't it hasn't it hasn't grown up at all. Like it's it's I'm pretty sure this is the size that it began at, and it's 27% grown, so it might just be a forever, forever baby. It's just gonna stay like that forever. All right, well, let's go and uh, let's go and see what we can find. Let's go see what we can do. I don't know where we should go looking for beaver dams. I should, you know, what over here might be a good bet. We might be able to find something over in the like the swampier area over this part of the map. Otherwise, I'm just trying to think of where. Oh. Like, maybe over here during this, like, around this lake. I was thinking, like, I don't know where the lake... There's not really a lot of lakes and rivers on this map. There's a lot of big oceans. 
bit, a lot of big kind of watery chasms like these, but they're, 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 there's actually no rivers that I can think of at least. I'm just trying to think of where we might find a beaver or where they might reside. I'm going to take a guess. We'll see how it goes. And like, if it's not over there, we'll try somewhere different, I suppose. Uh, also, hey, 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 you guys. You know what? Yeah, 100% going to hunt down these tech parasaurs over here. We are uh, we probably a little overdue for expanding our horizons into the fabricator. We're like we we need to we need to advance our technology a little bit soon. So I guess uh, a little bit of electronics, oil, metal, and that fun stuff uh, will, will help us out greatly. So we should probably yeah start collecting a little bit of that stuff. Um, but surely, surely if we're going to find a beaver dam, maybe something over here. Also, what is that? I'm seeing a big old long tail. Oh gosh, that thing moves quick too. That guy was in the... Oh yeah, he moved... That's a, that's a fast old snake. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I'm also seeing a little bit of... Uh, what do you call them? I saw some... There's some pearls in this little lake right here. Also, a little wyvern. Oh, there's a few little wyverns out here. Are you guys wyverns or are they... A thunder hunt drake? Interesting. They've got a good amount of torpor on them too. At least that one there does at least. He's actually kind of strong. They get to, oh, I don't have what it needs to tame it, though. All right. Well, there's no point uh, no point looking too far into those then. All right. There is a river out here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Beaver dams, though. Do we have any beavers? Because I don't see any beavers just yet. I see uh, nothing. I see some otters. I see some galimimuses. Those guys just kind of live everywhere. Some saber-toothed tigers. But I'm not seeing any beavers. I don't even know where to try after here, to be honest, which is... Do we even have beavers on this map? Unless they kind of just live in the ocean or something. Huh. Okay, back to the drawing board. I feel like I want to check down here as well. I'm just going to pump like a bunch of levels into speed, by the way. My eye needs a little bit slow. Needs a little bit of a... Little bit of a boot up the butt. In fact, what we could also do to get him a little bit of a speed boost is getting these final 15 kills that he needs to reach the next tier of his like evolution and then we can get him evolved into whatever he's going to turn into next i i can't remember what comes next well actually no we don't know what comes next i've never i've never taken a dinosaur up to 200 kills before so let's go and get these last nine kills and then we'll find out what he's going to become um and then i feel like man it's a little bit laggy out here by the way odds i haven't had issues with lag on this map at all uh, until like now this is yeah interesting at least um all right let's get these final six kills another triceratops another therizinosaur we're gonna set them on fire oh here we go little pack of compies and that should just about do it we have ranked up yet again and we are now uh what are we we are a powerful argentavis so we were strong now we are powerful and i think we get a speed boost with that too so that's cool okay now we have beaver dams down here i feel like if there's if there's going to be beaver dams somewhere nearby, like this this is also an option. Um, I also do need to be careful of a giant... Oh, hello. Oh, it's a vapor golem. Okay, no, 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 no. That's going to be a water golem. Um, okay, we do need to go targeting some of these golems. Oh, no. I forgot about that SCP thing. That makes me all dizzy. Okay, not cool, not cool. Also, what is this thing following behind me? What is this little... What is this little bowl following behind me right this second? You guys seeing this? This little orb. Uh, is that an attack? Oh, it hit me. Yep, it sure was. It sure was. I don't... Okay, that, that's that's weird. I think... I, I reckon it was the vapor golem that hit me with that one there. Um, anyways, I don't see any beaver dams. I see a lot of these... Uh, what do you call them? I see these things. Which are good for black pearls, by the way. So, at least I know that I can find some black pearls out here. Also, the vapor golem about to go and vape me again. Oh, hold on a second. Surely... Man, there are a lot of therizinosaurs down here. Um, surely there's going to be a beaver dam around here somewhere, right? Like, this is, this has got to be like beaver central. Has to be. Hold on. No, piranhas. Piranha frogs. They're frogs. I saw frogs. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find any beaver dams. Unless. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> All right. We found a beaver at last. All right. We were on the right track. Oh, there's another beaver just up there. All right. Well, we're going to have to be, uh, Hello. What just bit me? I don't actually know. Um, we're going to have to be quick. Urgh, get in. Open the beaver dam. 
Oh, 270 cementy paste. That's what I'm talking about. And we get our high knees out of here. Nice, nice, nice. Now, you know what? I could go finding a couple extra beaver dams just to stock up on supplies, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got. I only needed about 100 anyways, and we found 270. So we got leftovers. Um, and I guess should I need more in the future, we'll just return. We know the way to go. We know the way to go next time. Should we want to get some more... Um, cement and paste or you know beaver dam supplies anyways let's head back to base and get this natty up and running then we got to turn our attention to that beast on the beach that we we're talking about earlier all right all right all right so it's time to finally get my little dude here like looked after with proper care let's go and craft ourselves up a nanny also no i think i'm missing i gotta be able to fuel this thing um i can't remember what we need i think we need honey I think I got to find some honey. All right. Well, this is only step one then, if that's the case. Man, I need a bigger base, don't I? Uh, or I think a tech generator gets the job done too, but we don't have one of those. Uh, only requires power. Gives food to nearby babies. Imprints nearby non-adult dinosaurs. Dang it. I'm pretty sure they run off honey, but I can't remember. Oh, it doesn't actually tell me either in the description. What about here? Does it tell me? Uh, gives food to nearby dinosaurs. Imprints. Just requires power. Wait, any type of power? Is it finally time for us to get a generator then? Which means I need a fabricator. All right, look, Wyvern, you can wait, buddy. My little, my little poison hatch thing. I guess you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, I, I got, I got other things I need to look into right this second. I'm, I want to go and paint that beast on the beach and visit real quick because I need to know what he's all about. Okay. I told you yesterday we're gonna come back and pay this thing a visit. Assuming it is still there. Speaking of beasts on the beach. That is a beautiful looking spino. I kind of want it, but one step at a time here, guys. Also, this thing, the fen golem. I, surely I can fight this thing. Oh, there's another one over there too. Alpha fen golem. Oh my gosh. And then you got a, a alpha cyclops. I don't even know what the cyclops is all about, but hey, buddy, can I attack you? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, no, not cool. We're going to leave the golem for now. The beast of the bridge is still here. The bronze wyvern. Um, so I don't know nothing about this thing. I've never seen one of these before. I don't know what it does. All I know is I flew past it and it was sleeping on the beach. And then I flew close to it and it said that I kind of disturbed it. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried that if I get too close to it, it's going to wake up. But at the same time, I kind of want to fly close to it and wake it up. Um, can you guys not... Can you guys get away from my future tame? My future big old baby? Um, but anyways, I want to tame this thing up. It looks like we're going to need black pearls. There's a bunch of things you can feed to this by the looks of it. I wonder if it's tamed similar to a gacha. If I need to fly up to it and like drop some resources in its face to like let it eat. In case that is the case, I'm just going to head home and grab some resources and uh, see if we can do it like that. Also, this dude here is about to die. The beautiful, my, the beautiful spider that I was just admiring. Well, he's not going to be very beautiful for much longer, unfortunately for him. But let me grab some obsidian. I'm pretty sure we got some over here. So if I do, I definitely, I've definitely, uh, what have I done with obsidian? Hold on. I know I've had some in the past. We found some. All right. It's in, oh, it's in our storage box. All right. Well, let's just grab a hundred of that. I could probably just grab all of it, but. 100 would do, maybe, hopefully. All right, cool. Let me drop this wood off as well. It's kind of heavy. All right. And I guess let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if it helps us. Also, purple supply drop over here. What is inside of it? A journeyman ankylo saddle. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Yeah, why not? Why not? You know what? If I don't break it into resource... No. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. If I don't end up... What in the world is going on with these guys? Oh, these guys are like some little... Okay, they're stuck. It's all good. You guys are stuck. Yep, they're stuck. They're stuck on one another. If I don't end up using... Oh, it's the blueprint. Ah, dang it. I kind of like the fact, though, that I don't know what is going to be in these supply drops. I don't know if it's going to be a blueprint or the actual um, item. I don't know. It's like a little bit of surprise. You, you don't know what you're going to get out of it. While kind of also knowing what you're going to get out of it. I don't know. It makes things a little interesting. Anyways, there it is again. The Bronze Wyvern at level 320. Um... Oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to fly above it. I'm waiting for that message to pop up. The one that scared me the other day too. Also, Alpha Fire Allosaurus. Interesting. Um, I haven't seen the message pop up again. But what I want to do is split the stack. And just... I kind of just want to drop the stack near its head. And see what happens. This is such a long shot, by the way. I've awakened the dragon. Oh, he awake. Oh, he awake. No, 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 no. Okay, he actually awake this time. Um, Hey, buddy. Hello. 
I dropped him some food. I just, I don't know. I don't know. What... <laughs> oh, the thing is huge. Okay. Um, all right. I actually have no idea. I, I guess I got it wrong. We're not meant to be doing that. Maybe I do. Maybe it's a passive tame. Oh, I bet you what I meant to be. Oh, I got an idea. I have an idea. You know what I think? I think I meant to creep up on it in like a ghillie suit or something. And then maybe feed it like that. Like kind of feed it while it's sleeping without waking it. Can you not? Can you not throw rocks at me, please? You're going to throw rocks at me, buddy. You're going to throw rocks at me. You want to you wanna, you wanna play that game, do you? You want to play that game, do you? All right then, mate. All right then. Well, take this. And that, and a bit more of this. And I just attacked that Bronto as well. Ah, that Bronto is a stone dinosaur too. He's going to be a pain in my butt. Um, okay, lucky for us, the Bronze Wyvern is still just chilling out there. Um, but, man, we're fighting all the rock boys right here, right now. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'll just keep, I'll just keep punishing them all. <laughs> it won't take too much longer to get rid of these guys, I suppose. But uh, that's all good. We already got this one halfway, I think. And the Epic Bronto is... Yeah, he's getting himself... Oh, there's more. There's more than one. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, I'm actually copping a beating here. I, I can't fight that Bronto. I can't fight stone dinosaurs with my fight. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second. Dude over there. He kind of just got a little bit flappy. Oh, we got an Alpha Mantis right next to it too. Yeah, we do. Urgh. Okay, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Um, Look, I just want to fly up next to it and see what happens, okay? Is he going to get aggressive? We're probably going to get attacked by something before I get close to it. Like the Mantis. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I expected to happen. I want to know what the deal is with the Bronze Wyvern though. Ah, oh, and I kind of want to take it home with me. It's just so beautiful and majestic. What happens if I unload it? Like if I fly away from it and let it rest, like, you know, just let it, let it go back to sleep. Then what happens exactly? Now he's still awake. Okay. All right. I'm wondering if, wondering if I need to get my hands on some, like, a ghillie suit and, like, creep up on the thing. All right, I'm just kind of monitoring what's going on around us. Hello, Air Kano. Goodbye, Air Kano. Um, I should have just done that exactly that to the Mantis as well. Look at the neck on this thing, man. It's like it's, it's got, like, a snake neck. Oh, the Mantis just got wrecked. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay. Um, okay, we're pretty, pretty up close and personal now. Okay, I can't... I can't passive feed obsidian. Oh, no. Sit tight, please. Do not. Oh, I'm about to die. Can you not? Can you go anywhere but here right now, please? Anywhere but here right now. All right. The bronze wyvern's chill. I don't know if... Maybe I just meant to knock the thing out. I bet you end up dying. All right. I'm just going to go straight up for it. Uh, hey, buddy. Um, put food in the last slot. All right. We are in trouble. Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, he awake, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. <laughs> oh, look at this little orb following me now. What happens if it hits me? Imagine it's just like insta-kill. Um, all right. That thing is crazy. I wanted to tame you though, dude. Do you not want to tame? Do you not want to be tamed by me? Oh, so you might want to be careful down there. Man, that Cyclops got wrecked. Um... I want the bro. Oh, thing is tough. Why does it look so much more intimidating than any other? Oh, wait, what happened to him? Is he getting? Oh no! He's oh, he's gonna die. The beast of the beast is gonna die. There's nothing I can do about it. Ah, uh, I don't even know who's attacking it. But oh no! I led it to its death. What have I done? What have I? Oh my gosh! That. The sound that, that that fire blast makes is is scary. I don't know if I can save it. Also, have a look at the look at the look at the location of this, this supply drop about to drop down. How's that for like location? Alright, so I've given the big dog some time to chill. Hopefully. Well, actually, well, it's not so much about him chilling anymore, is it? Yeah, he's not chill at all. He ain't chill at all, but he's firing up all the uh, the other dinosaurs in the area. I think we might have blown this opportunity, fellas. I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we're going to get anywhere near the big old bronze bomber or the big bronze, bronze wyvern, this big boy, but oh, I do want one of these. 
Let's do one of these. I reckon I maybe could, oh, I could have done it yesterday, but we didn't, obviously. Um, bronze fellow. Man, if you step any closer to that Giga, you're not going to survive it, mate. You're not going to go very... Oh, man, he's just anchoring everything. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, 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 dude. Also, I can't help it. Oh, my gosh. That thing's got half a million health. All right, we got to avoid that thing at all costs, guys. That's, that's danger right there. That is, like, danger with a capital D, baby. Something's making a funky old noise. It's, oh! Oh, he took flight! Maybe because it's about... I should just go get the kill at this point. Oh, too late. Uh, yep, yeah, be dead. Well, let's harvest him. See if we can get anything. Okay, what just exploded? I think I got attacked by this dude. Um, all right. Well, let's get ourselves out of here then. I guess the bronze wyvern wasn't meant to come home with us. It makes me sad, but there's not a lot we can do. There is nothing we can do as a matter of fact, but damn it. Oh, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. That is what it is. Oh, hello. We got some scales out of it, mate. Really, really heavy scales. Uh, bronze wyvern scales, a precious metallic scale acquired from a bronze wyvern. These scales are extremely hard and could be a replacement for metal in certain crafting recipes. I think we did the right thing, guys. <laughs> I think we did the right thing in harvesting him. Um, that is interesting. Also, I guess he's part of the... Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say he's part of the SCP mod because it looks a lot like this scale. But you may not know. The SCP mod is made by the same person as the Dragon mod. Uh, there might be a slight reuse of textures and models. I did see some comments last video pointing that one error out. Um, but anyways, that's all good. He is a legend when it comes to making mods. You might see him in the comments of our videos, by the way. Um, man, Hydragon of Death, I believe, is his handle. But on YouTube, it's... 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 Something, Ghidorah, good, oh my gosh. I always get mixed up between the two, but he's got two, two usernames that you should pay attention to. Anyways, um, I was eyeing off that golem over here. Where did that one there go? And obviously I'm not talking about the alpha one. I don't want nothing to do with the alpha one. This guy right here. This is a fen golem. Apparently we need to kill these guys. This is a low-ish level one, but it's also a nature one. Obviously I'm a fire RG, so surely I can kick its butt, right? Surely we've at least got some form of like, I don't know, advantage over it. Should we, should we, I mean, I think I attacked him earlier, right? I thought I was... Maybe not. Oh, he hit me with water bombs. But I'm healing up ridiculously quickly. What? Okay. Let me keep on. Nah, I can't even hurt him. Um, okay. All right. Oh, no, we are, we are, we are, we are. We're dealing damage. Oh, we actually are dealing damage. Okay, then. Okay. I mean, he's hurting us too. However... Um, I'm getting some... I'm trying so hard not to hit the E button, but I'm, I'm trying to hold H while also um, holding the, 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 the forward button. Anyways, um, we're getting a healing buff every so often. There's something nearby that's healing us, I think. Um, dude, I'm going for this thing. A, a nearby elemental is healing your wounds. That's what it says. Well, who's healing my wounds? I actually have no idea. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I like it because I'm pretty much invincible right now. I love it. Ooh. Oh, explosions. What caused an explosion? Uh, also, I can't attack him sometimes. It's only, it's only sometimes I can actually d uh, do damage to the dude right here. Um, okay. Oh, there are explosions. Also, I'm not hurting him anymore. I wonder if it's... Oh, I gotta get out of there. Okay. Not that I'm dying or anything, but I feel like... Hold on, I saw something glowing over there. I feel like I just need to dodge his attacks for a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. If you look at the top right-hand side of the screen, there is a... Every now and then, when he lands a hit on me, I get a little water. There's a little water drop buff up there. I assume it's got to do with his water attack. I think maybe the Fen Golem is a combination of water and elements. I think these guys might be hybrid elementals or something like that, uh, if my memory serves me correctly from what I've read. Um, but anyways, whenever that little water drop pops up at the top there, I can't do damage. I th well, at least... It looks as though the two... Yep, there it is. It's right there again. Elemental water. You are wet and short of breath. Yep, yep. Okay, let's get out of there for a second then. He's obviously using water attack. Oh! Have a look. He's covering himself in water. I guess water's like seeping out of his cracks and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, yep, I can't attack him right now. So we just got to wait for him to go back to... Oh, snap. Have a look. He's actually gone to elemental water. So in case you haven't seen it, over here, left-hand side of the screen... Um, it says elemental nature. Right now, he's elemental nature, but a second ago, he was elemental water, and I couldn't damage him. So, uh-huh. Oh, and he healed himself up during that period as well. Well, that, that's kind of sucky. Uh, and I'm not healing myself up anymore either, so make of that what you will. 
Anyways, we're going to continue this grind right here. I I feel like I can get him, but he's strong. He's really, really strong. All right. I'm sitting in his head right now. <laughs> I've got myself stuck on his back. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, but now he's in elemental water. All right. I can't damage him, but he can't damage me. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. It's fine. I can, I can stomach this. I just don't want him to heal up. I'm legit like... I'm, I'm stuck right here. Look at this. Look at this thing. <laughs> I guess we found his Achilles heel. We found his weak spot. There's nothing he can do about it. Um, he's still got 61,000 health. I'm not taking damage. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Actually, yeah, I kind of am taking damage. But yes. Okay. He's back to nature. But he's also knocked me away. Um, and I've got water thing on me now. But I'm healing now. So that's cool. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're getting down. We're getting there. We're nearly halfway. Okay, now can I get back on his head? Because th that was a really sweet spot. It kind of like made my life really easy. I kind of want to... Can I sit on your shoulders again, big guy? Can I just... Can I... Just, can I... Yep, cool. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> he doesn't like me up there. I, I get it. I get it. I'm a big old powerful fire alpha Argentavis. Like, I I, I, don't, I wouldn't want me on my shoulders either. Um, in down... So, bad news. Um, uh, I really... I want to get stuck on his shoulders again. Now that he's gone back to water mode. And there's, I, I can't attack him, but he can attack me. Um, I guess we'll just keep the heat going, though. Because he's only got 45,000 health left. So he's about... Oh, there we go. I think we found the sweet spot. Maybe not. No, I didn't think we so. Dang it. We knew, I feel like we were close to the sweet spot. Oh, there we go. It doesn't matter. No sweet spot, but we're dealing damage yet again. Uh, look, I don't know why we're killing this thing. I don't know what he does for us. All I know is we got to do it eventually. So why not right now, right here? Wow, what? Yeah, that, that's why we're doing this. Oh, this is a battle. I tell you what. Maybe I should have brought my uh, my Rex over here for this one here. <laughs> my Rex? Probably. Yeah. Oh no, no, maybe not then, because this is an elemental dinosaur, and my Rex isn't good against other things. Um, perhaps my. Oh, my lightning, my lightning Kano might have kicked its butt like really well as a matter of fact. Lightning obviously good against water, but I don't know how lightning goes against nature. I actually don't know who wins that battle. Maybe it's like neutral. Maybe, maybe nobody wins that battle. Maybe it's kind of just balanced out, but it'd be better than being like, you know, not very effective like we currently are, I guess. Either ways, it's nice not to have to worry about taking damage. That definitely takes a lot of pressure off my plate. But let's just keep this show going. Keep those shots hitting. He's got about 30,000 health left, which means all I gotta do is hit him another 60 times. 60 times isn't that many. I mean, we could, if we could do it a little bit quicker, that'd be fantastic, but we can't. So it's all good. We'll pace ourselves. We're two thirds of the way through this thing. We've got 25. We've got about 20k left to go. We're close. We're close. That one, that, that, yeah, we're getting there, baby. We're getting there. 18,000. And he's back to water mode. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I don't like you. All right, fine. I'll wait out water mode. Gosh. All right. Back to nature mode. And we are under 15,000 health. Come on, buddy. Come on. Give in to me. Obviously, you're my only option right now because I'm not going to go and fight your alpha brother over there. And um, we're going to stay well away from him for a very obvious reasons. But come on, come on. Let's get these last hits in before he goes back to water zone. All I got to do is hit him like another 10 times, another eight times, six more hits, five, four, three, two, and one more hit, two more hits. Oh, he went back to water, you pile of trash. I'm so tempted to just hop off this guy and punch him with my pike, but I don't think that's going to work. I think we need to play the long gone, the long, the long, oh my gosh, the long con. A little bit of a tongue twister there. It's been a big day, what can I say? But come on, let me get these last two hits on you, big guy. Come on, just let me finish you off. Let me finish you off and find out why it is we must fight you. I need to know the answers to the mystery. We must unravel this one here. You know what? One more hit and whoa! Yo, hello, how you doing? Hello indeed. Um, We casually just unlocked a tech replicator there. Well, that's pretty cool. Something's still taking damage in the area, but whatever. Um, yeah, we, we we just did that. We we 100% just did that. Uh, we unlocked like a whole ton of tech stuff. Wards. Um, do you drop any loot or is that it? Oh, snap. Maybe this is why we need him. We're getting, we're getting resources here that I haven't seen before. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me get off the ground. And uh, we'll have a little peek at what we just what we just uncovered there. Oh, the Fen Golem core. The core of the animated Fen Golem used with essence infusion to create your own golem. That's why we needed one, I guess. Uh, we got metal. We got crystal. Cool. I need crystal. Uh, we got crystallized nature. Yeah, I was hoping it was like a special crystallized. Like, I was hoping it was... Um, well, yeah, we've got crystallized nature is what I'm trying to say. I was hoping it was like a special version that we need. Anyways, uh, we also got crystallized water. We also, though, got nature plasma. Plasma infused with nature element. And we got water plasma too. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what any of this stuff is used for. I mean, obviously, the core said that you can get your own golem. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, um, I guess we got a few things to, to learn. That is a majestic looking Therizinosaur. Oh, my gosh. It's like the colors of my favorite football team as well. Oh, come on. All right, all right, all right. No, we're going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it. We're going to return home <laughs> to safety. And uh, we're going we're gonna to call this one a day. Guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead. Punch those thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. I think you're obliged to being my birthday and all. It'd be the best birthday present ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. Thank you so much for making this a very special year. My last year of my 20s, you guys have made it a remarkable one. And I look forward to entertaining you all well into my 30s. Another 10 years of this channel. Wow. Wow. Let's not look 10 too far ahead, all right? Guys, until next time, though, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. I really hope you do have a great day. I know I have. Guys, bye. For now.